Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprite here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, October 11th, 2020. Free pick coming up in the NFL, and we'll get to that in just a moment. First, quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on that link below the video. All right, cutting this uh, afternoon on Saturday for Sunday, None of our college football plays uh, have gone final or even kicked off yet. Three night games, so we'll update everything uh, tomorrow on Sunday night or Monday. Uh, but as far as what we got going for Sunday, here's the situation. We've got three NFL plays, including a seven-star play in the NFL. If you've been following me for years, you know, over the last several years, 477 online NFL plays, 59% against the spread. Three and one last Sunday with a nice uh, top play win on the New Orleans Saints. So uh, it's been... a a nice run for several years now. We won that OV contest in the NFL in Las Vegas last year, hitting 60% over the entire 17 weeks. So let's rack it up. Let's see if we can do it again. Three plays, three sides, by the way, in Sunday's NFL, including that seven-star side. Uh, also, I'll be involved in NASCAR. I've got a top play this week. 47 and 23 is our current NASCAR run since May of 2019. Head-to-head -head matchups, 47 and 23. And as I speak, uh, we have a match that's going on in the PGA. 2-0-1 uh, so far in Shriners before Saturday's matchup is complete. I'm sure we'll be jumping into uh, PGA action, the matchup in final round play on Sunday. So that's a lot going on for me on Sunday. As of right now, nothing final to report in college football, but let's get to our report for Sunday's NFL. Real quick note, couldn't do the uh, Sharps versus Squares video this week. We had to give Rafael Esparza the week off. He's down in Bayou country. They were dealing with a little bit of a weather situation down there and he had other important things to take care of but uh, wanted to give you the top Joes versus pros plays so far as of late Saturday afternoon early Sunday evening heading into Sunday's NFL card Joes versus pros Raiders at the Chiefs Chiefs laying about 11 and a half total 55 uh, public on the Chiefs as you would imagine against the spread a very public team and right now for this particular game they're getting about 57 percent of the tickets the pros well they're on the Raiders thus far about 70 percent of the money on on the Raiders plus the points Las Vegas getting again about 11 and a half to 12 points in that one KC has been as high as a 12 and a half point favorite so a little bit of respected money has brought that down a tad a couple of quick notes Raiders have covered seven of the last 23 that's it on the road and Kansas City 8-0-1 spread run in the last nine home games Giants at Dallas gonna save the pros versus Joes that's the game we're gonna talk about Vikings at Seattle the other Joes versus pros Seattle a seven point favorite 57 on the total Seattle, a public side, get about 55% of the tickets. 70%, a little more than 70% of the money, though, is on those underdog Minnesota Vikings. Vikings on that 9-2-1 October spread run under Mike Zimmer. We saw them get it going last week, so we'll see if they can continue uh, their hot October success in this road game at Seattle. And then finally, the game that we're on is the Giants at Dallas. Dallas lay an eight and a half, total 54. Cowboys, as you would imagine, getting that public action. Not overwhelming, but public action. About 54% of the tickets are laying the points with the Cowboys as I look at it right now on my screen. Uh, Sharps are on the underdogs of the Giants. They're getting over 70% of the money on New York plus the points. And by now you've heard the Giants on a 14 and three spread run on the road. But Dallas has covered six straight in the series. Now we're looking at this game too. Too, but we are taking the total. We're playing the under, which currently sits at 54 for the most part. A couple of 53 and a halfs out there. But uh, listen, I, uh, there's nothing you can say too positive about the Dallas Cowboys defense. We get that. We think they'll be better in this one, not only because of what they're doing as far as adjustments are concerned on the defensive side of the football, but also because the New York Giants are coming to town. And the New York Giants do not want to get into a shootout. And they've proven that if they play their style of football, they can hang around. We saw it last week against the Rams. It's a 10 to 9 game well into the fourth quarter. They ended up uh, losing that game 17 to 9. Having said that though uh, they held the Rams offense in check and you know Jones isn't going to throw a ton of passes deep. He threw 36 passes for 190 yards in that game so not a massive yards per pass attempt average obviously uh, but again they'll be looking to slow the game down. They don't want to get into a track meet even though they're going up against what has been a shaky defense. And you got Garrett on the sideline with the Giants now uh, who can 
can tell a little bit about what Dallas is going to want to do, or their tendencies at least, because they're not doing everything they did last year, obviously, with the new uh, head coach. And, and But the bottom line is, is he knows the tendencies of some of the offensive personnel, so I think that'll help a little bit. And of course, Dallas, again, wants to focus on getting better on defense. I think you guys are going to see a lower scoring game than the total indicates, uh, so we're going to recommend to play a free pick, an opinion on the under between the Giants and the Cowboys on Sunday afternoon. All right, that's going to do it for us for this report. If you want an update on the pros versus Joes, tune in to ESPN National on Sunday around 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. I jump on uh, with the gang over at ESPN and update where everything sits as far as Joes versus pros and all that good stuff about a half hour before the games kick off. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column.